Okay, okay. So, hey guys, welcome back to Learn Tent Global. Well, today is our final day, and we have currently Dawood with us. So, Dawood, would you start? Yeah. Would you help me start? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's been a wonderful time spending, you know, our days with you, trying to make sure that you get, you know, upskill. And um, thanks so much to the organizers, I mean, Ajinke and Omkar for, you know, putting together everything. It's been awesome from day one. We've always tried to be there and on, on time. Um, so um, we are still trying to get Regerio to, you know, connect with all of you. That is why we had a delay of, you know, um, today's session. But um, we are here. And I think in the first few minutes, whilst we are trying to get him on board, we want to interact with you. Tell us in the chat, what was your favorite session from day one to, you know, day four? And um, what have you learned? What are some of the new things that you've learned? And um, whilst, you know, you keep telling us in the chat, tell us where you, you are joining us from. Let us know the kind of global audience that we have. And um, I and the team here would try to make this fun whilst we are waiting to get Regerio back. But we promise you, we are going to give you some, some tips, all right? Because the point is we want to see you upskill. And then we believe that you are not just joining because of certificate, not at all. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you check the Lead Tech Global website that we built on day one, you can see it's really looking super good. I think Sundar Risha will be able to show you um, while scrolling through it. Um, but so then just put it in the chat. Tell us where you're joining us from. Uh, good evening to you all from India. Good morning um, to those from US. And then... Um, also, um, we have a mass, massive salutation to all of you joining us from Africa as well. It should be afternoon for most of the African countries. Thank you so much for taking our time. I'm just going to share my screen uh, and then um, tell you that you can actually do massive stuff on your own. You don't need to um, give up. You still need to, you know, keep pushing. Umkar, what do you want to say hi to the audience and Umar? I think yeah, okay. uh, thanks, thanks, Davos, for passing it on to me. So I want to thank you, everyone, for joining in each and every day, just like I say, at every session, in every session. So uh, the thing is, uh, like, today is the last day, and uh, we, are we are soon going to have Rogerio with us. So there has been a delay. That is the reason why uh, we are still trying to get in touch with Rogerio. He has some network issues there. So he'll be connecting soon. So you can like uh, tell us what was your favorite part in the event. Like uh, for those who have attended all the four days, what the most important uh, thing which you have learned uh, in these four days. You can comment your thoughts in the live chat and you can tell us how, how was your overall experience and what do you like uh, take away from this four days of learn tech global so uh, we are like looking at the comments like uh, and, and anyone is up for like anyone can comment what was his or her favorite part and talking about rogerio he, he's been he's going to be joined soon so talking about rogerio he's uh and let me just tell you his portfolio and uh, he's like uh, a gold student partner and uh, he's also a uh, microsoft MVP is the most valuable professional in SEOR and uh, also uh, added to it, he is also a cloud solutions architect. So that is really great and we are still waiting for Rogerio to connect in and let me just pass on to Dawood again. What do you think about Rogerio? How, like, uh, your comment your thoughts, like, what, what do you think about him? Yeah, I, I think Rogerio is Rogerio is a, a great Microsoft student partner, and um, he's been around for a while. I think since I joined the MSP program, he, you know, I don't know whether he joined the same time, but he's a great Microsoft student partner. And achieving the good level of Microsoft student partner is amazing, right? It means that people put in a lot of effort to be able to, you know, um, achieve that. And so not only that, but he's also an MVP, and that's a cool thing, right? Because it means that he has gone above the MSP level and contributed so much and has been awarded the Most Valuable Professional Award. So, um, Ruggiero is a great speaker, and then we are looking forward to having him to interact with you guys on blockchain. 
Um, yeah, so pretty much I think that is it. Um, is Ajinkia there? Would you want to say hi before I, you know, take up the session whilst we are waiting for Regirio? Um, those of you asking of certificates, Ajinkia, maybe you tell them about the certificates. Yeah, sure. Um, so, hello guys. Thank you so much for joining our session. It was a lovely, lovely experience. We, uh, job working with all the gold student partners and we are really thank thankful for such a lovely audience and um, yeah so regarding the certificates uh, we have start uh, we have started making our certificates and uh, for today's event as you all know uh, for the certificates you have to fill two forms one is for the attendance and other is uh, for the certificate so make sure that you fill both the forms and uh, within one week you all will receive the certificates after today's event so yeah i'll hand over again to dauda amazing so um those those are the things that you should know um we are taking two um, attendance one is halfway through so 30 minutes to the you know the session we take one attendance that's what we usually show to you on you know the lead tech you know website over here right and then the second part is that um, towards the tail end, the ending, we take another attendance. So we compare both of them to show whether you were present. But that one, we don't post it on the website. We post it in your chat, in the chat. So keep looking at the chat at the last part. So you fill it out and we compare the two attendance. If you, you were there both time, then we, we award you the certificate as such. So um, that's something to, to know of. And... Um, just before I move on to some practical things to discuss with you, um, Sundareshwa, what have you, you know, observed so far? I was about, I was literally about to say that, that doubt I want to like say about how, what I learned through this Learn Tech Global Session. Um, well, after the first session, let me just say, like, this is the honest that I'm speaking like, after the first session when Dawood teach me about getting the custom domain uh, and doing those, everything, the website look, looking cool everything. Uh, right now, I'm working on my own uh, website, a portfolio that I'm creating in the back end after learning those things that Dawood showed me. Uh, I was excited, like, I want to create my own website, my own domain name. So I'm doing that right now. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly a techie guy. So I'm attracted to those things. So yes, for me, Dawood session was the best session. Oh, there you go. It's coming soon currently. Uh, Dawood, hold on. Let me just show you. Uh, I just made... Um, Hold on. Let me just give the URL of the new one. Okay. So just look so, at just look in the so so those of you in the chat, um, you see that, what that would, Sundarisha you. was Hello. able to Sundarisha was able to come up with. Um, so make sure you are also doing yours. I mean, um, it's not just about joining the session; it's about doing along what we are doing. All right, and you can all do it. I I think I love this one. I love this so much. It looks I love awesome. It. It looks awesome to me. It looks very awesome. Oh, this is mind blowing. I like the team. The team is really, really nice, right? Uh, and I also oh, have I a have... light and dark. If you, if you scroll down, there's a light light mode button, and if you click it, uh, it will shift to light uh, white mode, in the center. Okay, no problem. I think I'm trying. Okay, okay, yeah, I see the lights. So you can even switch on the light mode and all. So um, this has really been an amazing session. Um, so this is in the ratio. Um, who joined in the day one when we explored about, you know, um, web development. He has been able to do his. Please, if you are in the chat and you've been able to do something, just put it in the chat and then let me know what you learned from that session all the way to the session of Homo Limo. That would, that would, and then that would, so many. That would, yes. Yeah, so we just have a quick update. Uh, Rodrigo is going to be with us here in a minute. Actually, do, uh, it's raining there in Brazil, so he had some network issues. So he's joining in one, like, just in a minute. So okay. uh, for those of you who are, uh, like, uh, waiting for him, he's just joining in. He had some network issues, so he'll join in just a minute. Yeah. Awesome. What you so, yeah, amazing. So whilst Rujiro is trying to join us, I think I should give you this link. Um, this is my channel, all right? I want to really upscale most of you in web development and web development is the thing, right? I really want you guys to be able to do something on your own and, and come up with amazing stuff, all right? So I have some cool web development stuff over here. 
um, how you can hook up a custom domain. We did all that in the first session, but this I have put it into chunks so you will be able to, you know, um, do it on your own. So I think I just paste it in the in here. Soon that you can give them the link um, on on YouTube so that okay. they, um, yeah. So one of the things, yeah, I've just okay. put it in the chat. Just put um, that so that they are able to. Uh, click on the subscribe button if they like most of the things I teach. And also, um, I promise that I'll be doing most of, you know, web development videos henceforth um, to make sure that all of you are upscaling to the highest level. I'll be doing some React.js and also um, Laravel stuff for you. So, so some of you asked in the, um, I think our main speaker will be joining soon. Let me just take the advantage to um, show you this um, so soon, all right? So um, let me know if you've also learned a lot like Sundarishwa. I like what Sundarishwa have been able to come up with. And I want to make sure all of you are coming up with something really, really cool. So this is the Lead Tech Global. I just logged into Microsoft Azure portal. We discussed this in the day one. I'll click on the Lead Tech Global um, website that we created. Most of you will be familiar with this. Um, now, what happened in the Lead Tech Global you know, site is that when we deployed it, it wasn't really working, right? So I had to come up with a way to let it work. Now, what I did is that I just scrolled down to um, configuration, okay? And when I went to configuration, I realized that I set the the um, the website to um, Node.js. Meanwhile, we didn't have index.js or we didn't even have a web server configured and a huge amount of routes, routing wasn't done and all those stuff. So. Because of that, we didn't really get to explore more about it. So it, that's why it didn't work. So I just came to configuration and I went to general settings. And in general settings, instead of Node.js, I scroll down and I use static sites. Since we were, you know, pointing to index dot, you know, um, index in, index dot HTML, just a static website without, you know, a server. So that is how I got it to work. After just saving it this way and I saved it, everything worked, you know, successfully, right? And let me know if you would like to learn how to just do something like this in the chat. Okay, um, this is the Elite Tech Global website that we did very boring one on the day one, but I came up with very a sweet interface in the day two. Let me know if you would like to learn something like this so I will know the kind of audience that we have here. And if you'd like to learn web development back end, what particular framework would you like to uh, be able to learn? Just put it in the chat. Ruggerio, our main speaker, will be joining us in just a minute. Okay, um, it rained at the end, so he had network issues. That's why he's not here currently. So hopefully you've seen how we were able to fix, you know, that particular problem that we had. I just selected that I want a static site, and that was all. So if you want to do more settings on your website, often, even if you choose a stack already, you can always change this right in here to point to another part, another you know stack that you are you've changed your website into. All right, so that's really awesome. That's a fun thing to know. Um, my link link to subscribe to my channel was posted in the chat. So if any easy way to design front end, I personally like back end. Yes. So if you like a back end, you can actually look out for Team Forest. Okay. Yeah, so Team Forest is a, a website that they sell teams as, as, as you know, as, um, I mean, cheaper as $10, as cheaper at $5. You can get a very cool template from here, right? So you just need to search on what particular website do you want. Do you want a portfolio website built with just HTML and CSS? Yes, that's mostly what backend developers would prefer. But if you want, you know, um, a team like um, WordPress, you can search for that one as well. So over here, you can see we have really, really cool teams. This goes for $17. And we have other teams over here. So depending on what exactly you want to build, you should be able to find uh, a particular uh, one that you want. Let's check this website, for instance. So this is the preview of you know, a website. Um, so we, the backend developers, don't like to build things on our own. We would like to just go, um, I mean, especially front end, and then just get us a front end uh, site. So you can see in here, this site also looks super, super cool. Um, so you can just purchase it for $10 and you substitute it with your code, um, loop it over and all those stuff. Please let me know the next question. Someone, I just answered that question. Um, 
Uh, I know we haven't started the main session, but if you like the discussion that is going on, click on the like button and click on subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Any thoughts on Bootstrap Studio? Um, I haven't used Bootstrap Studio before, but I, I learned it's a drag and drop tool. And if you have the, um, the GitHub student package, you, uh, you will be able to get you know, a free access to Bootstrap Studio. Um, it's a drag and drop thing, but I personally don't like you know, using those ones, okay? Um, I like, for example, this theme that you saw, I actually just use Get Bootstrap. I use the framework to, you know, coin everything together. Um, and it's super easy to get started if you want to use Get Bootstrap itself, okay? So for those of you who don't know Get Bootstrap, it's just a site, like, which has a CSS, you know, um, framework um, already. So, um, yeah, you check in here. You can quickly get um, started by, you know, visiting this particular URL and you would see templating over here. You just put it in there. It allows you to be able to develop a mobile first responsive website. For example, when I click on um, this and then I click on the developer tools and then I hit on, uh, yeah, and I scroll down a bit, you can see that this is like an iPhone 6 view. Or if I want to say Galaxy S5, you see, this is how when you view, view it on your website, this is how it will look like, right? So you see, this is mobile, first responsive. Um, it's responding to your mobile app. I think it's leaking somehow, which means I have some few fixes to still do on it. But let me see iPhone 6 um, and then 8 and co. How does it look like? Okay, I think we still have a bit of leak, but it, it does a better job in terms of you know, writing a clear or just a CSS stuff, right? So this is how it looks like. Um, hit on the like button, click on the subscribe, you know, button. And the link to my channel has been pasted in your, um, your, your, your chats. Um, if you would like to see more of, you know, great stuff coming from me on web development, whether it's HTML, CSS, PHP, whether you want Node.js, I can help you code better, all right? So just check that out. Um, are we getting Regurio back soon? If not, I can do some more productive thing with them whilst they are in the chat, okay? Um, yeah, everyone would get you. Yeah, all right, thank you, thank you. Um, most of you are saying you enjoyed it, and I see uh, about eight people just subscribed to the channel which is really cool. Um, I'll be having a session with Scott. Let me click on this particular link. I'll share that in the chat as well. Most of you can actually RSVP into the session. Um, was, over here is, was, yeah. Was, Do we have Rogerio? Rogerio, Rogerio is here with us. Your, Amazing. Join. Amazing. Thank you so much, yeah. Rogerio, for uh, so, joining us finally. Yeah, like, uh, Everyone, everyone, thank you for the patience. Uh, Rodrigo, just I, just like I said, he was facing some network issues. So right now, uh, right now he's with us, and uh, I want to welcome Rodrigo to you all. Rodrigo, can you hear me? Uh, hello, Rodrigo. Um, check whether you are not muted. All right. Please just speak up once you are able to connect with all of us. Um, answering some questions from the chat. So someone said, can you suggest us some costs so that we can learn all this type of web development? Um, yes, I remember I studied on cost era to be able to build, you know, responsive mobile apps. But mostly the way I teach, I don't see many people doing it that way. Uh, and obviously I don't, um, and, and mostly I, I like to combine a lot of, you know, learning platform like plural sites. I learn from Coursera. I learn from many people, and when I, I look at what they teach, and then I would just summarize it the way I think every beginner can understand, right? So, fr frankly speaking, I see really cool um, um, people teaching stuff. Regirio, please speak if you are able to um, connect with us. He's having a network issue, but he'll be able to connect with us. Okay, so this is Laracast, okay? Laracast is a very cool platform. I would um, encourage all of you to check it out. Um, it's about $15 um, to subscribe. And once you you are subscribed to Laracast, you get really, really cool stuff. If you want to learn Node.js, I think he teaches Node.js, but mainly Laravel stuff, 
All right, so you'll be able to check up. So this is one of it. We have another one, Plural Site. We have another one, Coursera. I haven't learned so much from Udemy, so I can't say much for Udemy, all right? So these are some cool stuff. And if you want to see more of, you know, stuff that I'm talking about, I have one particular channel in here. Let me check it up. Okay, let me check this up. So um, I did a talk on um, Juneteenth conference. Yeah, and the Juneteenth conference talks about how you can choose a stack on your own, all right? So over here, um, that's one of the talk I did. But I was showing you something here. I'll be doing a talk on a, a global platform with Scott Hesselman, um, one of the greatest speakers for Microsoft and a lot of cool people on Node.js. So if you want to learn that, that would happen next week, Thursday. Um, uh, yeah, a bit late for Indian. I think it's 12.30 a.m. for Indian folks. So I think, Rogerio, please, if you can... You know, if you're able to connect, just speak. I just don't want to keep our attend attendees uh, without giving them too much stuff to take away because today is the last Saudi, day. Uh, uh, there, there's also a question again from Tech Musty. He uh, suggests some back end and front end framework to learn. Yes, yeah, so front end framework, learn Bootstrap, learn Boma.io. Um, back end framework, learn Node.js, one of the cool stuff in 2020. L learn Laravel if you're a PHP developer. Um, those are very cool stuff that I can personally talk about if I'm to recommend one of these for you. Okay, I, and then I just pasted a link in here. I think Sundaresha is going to paste it in your chat. Rogerio, you are muted. Okay, so if you can unmute yourself, um, maybe your network might be cool by now. Okay, um, so you see in here, you can watch this particular episode. Um, I taught how you can upskill. I mean, once we are learning, it is really difficult, all right? It is really difficult whilst you are learning because most of you are not guided, so you end up learning everything that comes your way. In this particular episode, what I did is that I actually talk more about how everyone can upskill without learning too much, all right? You don't need to learn too much. You just need to learn a particular stack. If you watch this particular episode, I narrated how I got here as a back-end developer, all right? So this is some cool stuff that I can mention to you. Um, make sure you click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this particular channel, um, which is my channel. Um, let me know if you have some more questions. Today is one of the last days that we are doing um, this five days workshop, but learning doesn't stop here. I am always online a week, um, and one of the days coming, I'll be doing more of fun stuff together with all of you. So put your questions in the chat. Um, as much as it looked like we are just having a discussion, trust me, I needed this advice from my day one, but I never got it, right? So make sure um, to hit on the subscribe button on my channel and also hit on the subscribe button on MSP Inspire personal channel as well. So let me know more questions there. Um, all right, thank you. I see a lot of folks are taking so much thing away. Um, hit on the like button if you are like if you like this discussion that is going on. Um, Rogerio, if you are able to unmute yourself, please just let us know. Um, you are currently muted. I think he's having network issue, but please chat on the WhatsApp platform as well. Yeah, yeah, he's struggling with net issue with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry to, to see that. But please put in the chat, what advice would you want from me? AngularJS and PHP, which is good nowadays. All of them are good. Honestly, I'm a PHP developer. I wouldn't learn Angular for... I mean, I in 2016, if you check on my LinkedIn, I come, I, I, I'm a full-stack developer, but I move fully to back-end. And one of the courses I run, one of the cool stuff I did was AngularJS then. And um, I would say that I didn't have much guidance on Angular and I needed too much questions to be answered by people who were unavailable. I felt the PHP ecosystem has a lot of people in the community. So um, people come around to teach you new stuff. Um, if you need any answers, you're able to get it quick. But today, even Angular has, you know, a large ecosystem. So I think it is also um, a good place to, you know, start if you want. So if you love JavaScript, you can, you know, um, go ahead with, you know, um, 
Angular JS, yes. Um, but if you love PHP, you can go uh, along with. Um, and people say PHP is difficult. Trust me, it's never difficult. All right. I prefer even coding more in PHP. But um, if you learn, um, if you know J JavaScript, then you can just stay in one, you know, using one language to code in your back and front end. And that is the awesome thing that you get if you are doing Angular JS and you know JavaScript. But if you learn PHP, we mostly do both, you know, um, <laughs> you mostly have to learn the PHP and also JavaScript as, as well. So that's one thing that for sure um, you would get to learn uh, for doing this lecture. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I took up the opportunity to just advise all of you because it's not easy if you don't have advice on where to start. So, all right. So it's really a pleasure. Please hit on the subscribe button on my channel uh, and then we'll be doing more fun stuff. And then make sure that you register for the Azure Thursday event as well. Any hosting platform at cheaper cost? Yes, a hosting platform is Microsoft Azure. It's one of the cheapest way to host your website because you only get charged for what you use, all right? I used to use GoDaddy. I'm not discrediting GoDaddy, but GoDaddy was a good platform for me. But what happened is that you pay in advance, right? You pay, that is like, um, they call it capital cost. So you pay like, you pay, let's say 500. Um, yeah, you pay like, I think 500 CDs, which is like $100 for yearly, what you have in you. So if you, are, if you don't use it at all, you still get deducted on GoDaddy. However, with cloud computing, Microsoft Azure, you can, you know, you only pay for what you are using. That's the fun stuff. All right, I hope that is answered. Um, so Microsoft Azure is your go-to. However, there is also Digital Ocean. Digital Ocean is also, you know, you will be able to set up um, a server on your own, manage a lot of stuff. Uh, but mm, I recommend doing fun stuff where, you know, Microsoft Azure is a good to go. Please post in your chat what is your most, you know, um, needed advice that you've never gotten from the tech industry. I know it can be pretty. You, you keep Googling around and then you keep banging around just to get answers. But I'm right here sacrificing my time to tell you what exactly that I know from my end. Um, my The link to my channel will be posted. You'll be able to subscribe. If you would like to see me do most of this talk without even teaching, let me know. I will take, I'll gladly do this maybe once every week on my channel. Um, so let me know if you like something like this. Is it okay to use Bootstrap in 2020 when you have Flexbox? Yes, it's absolutely amazing to use Bootstrap. If you use Bootstrap, you can still do some Flexbox properties um, you can you can still do some Flexbox stuff. So it's absolutely, I mean, Flexbox has been around for many, many times. I, I think I learned Flexbox, was it 2019 or 2018, right? So uh, the fact that Flexbox is there doesn't mean that Bootstrap is outmoded. Bootstrap is actually a wrapper around Flexbox and a lot of stuff. So uh, like you are getting a helping hand, right? Extra helping hand when developing your application, when you use Bootstrap. So yes, it is still really cool to go along with Bootstrap and then also learn your CSS stuff, okay? Uh, and semantic UI are all cool stuff. Borma.io is one cool stuff as, as well. Borma.io, you can just check that up as well. Any any advice you want, just put it in the chat. Hit on my channel. Um, Sundar paste in my channel subscription link. Um, repost them for them to be able to subscribe. And let me know if you like me to do most of this advisory stuff. Um, what I say is that I'm beyond coding. I don't just code. I like to talk about life, real life situations, what disturb people in the workplace, getting lower pays of salary and all this stuff. Let me know if you want me to do some stuff like that on my channel. Just let me know. Um, maybe I could do that on every Tuesday. I'll just come up live and then give you, um, answer more questions from you. Um, yeah, let me see whether we have new subscribers on my channel can I, can uh, I, can yeah I, can, can i ask yeah that would... yeah you can ask the question oh huh. uh so yeah most of you are liking it but you've not subscribed to my channel yet make sure you hit on the subscribe button subscribe. about 48 of you are watching what we are saying about 31 of you have liked the video which means we are doing good if you like you, you know get more from me every week um, click on the subscribe button on my channel and you can check up on some amazing stuff. I don't just teach only web development. I teach wide range of technologies as well. Yeah, um, go ahead, Sundar Your question. Uh, so I wanted an advice. So 
so being a guy who is going to go out into into the world after education in some time what advice would you give to the people like to be, people like me who would just go out into the world start doing jobs and everything after the education yeah so i gave a talk a talk on um with some indian institute um on industry connect so i was to, i was supposed to talk about how exactly you know to answer some of these questions that you know it was about some of these questions that you just asked in there um right now so what happened is that um when i was in school i'm a graduate now when i was in school what i did is um i always wanted to catch up with the industry because at the end it's not about the certificate trust me i don't even remove my certificate anymore all right i don't remove it no one gets a request from it not microsoft not any company i'm working currently with so it is beyond just you know you doing things on your own like so if you are in school please make sure that you reserve a time avoid too much friendship because friendship is good but i mean it's good to socialize in the university because you get a more more links but you have to you know do away with watching movies do away with visiting friends to talk so much time you know sometimes just you know i call it imprisoning yourself um that means that stay in the room stay focused and keep learning one thing all right take a path for example like you want to become a web developer like you want to become a mobile developer right so you choose the stack that you want and then just follow that thing from your your school level if you are in year 1 whether you are in year you know 4 just keep learning that particular thing um so you graduate from school right when you graduate trust me you are going to get some companies that are going to say that hello we need a back end developer we need a mobile developer and then you'll be right there to be able to you know um offer what it takes to you know get that job but if you don't have the skills while you are in school trust me your gpa might be good because i i in particular my gpa was good because i wanted to show it to um my parent it's for them me i have to learn the practical stuff academic field is not my thing this field of you know impacting huge amount of people across the globe is my thing right so that is one thing you have to know is that so um yeah i think that's one of the advice i would give that stop doing too much thing which are not necessary on campus focus on you know your academics and then give a part time to your practical life um i have suggested many websites that you can learn from check up on those websites and then make sure that you are keeping up to date with you know the tech industry all right so whilst you are in school and then also if you want to really stay up to date um you can also be checking up on websites like microsoft azure uh, microsoft websites they are career websites where they push in most of the jobs that are required and then also um i think i used to check up on some of these websites like um oh uh, codelin you right so codelin was one of the website that i used to check up on so i check up on what are the requirements of a software developer so i make sure that i learn the things that are needed in the industry right um i i don't come here because i need job from them i only come here because um most companies would you know come in here and then push about the jobs that they have job offer that they have but some of the things that they are requiring for you to be able to be employed would be here so i mostly check up what is required by most of these companies and i make sure that i am learning and catching up with the industry all right so um i hope that answers your question um sundarishwa yes of course of course it does it's always a pleasure to hear you giving advice and everything yeah thank you so much um so um any more question for me in the chat just put it in there i was supposed to be on a schedule but i decided to do this um because our main speaker was in there and i i feel even advisory sometimes is even needed by neither than the tuition that we are we are given because a lot of people don't um so which kind of website should i create to make more money in short time how oh, more money hmm i i would say that if you as a developer i don't have any website that i create to make more money yeah i can answer this i can answer this if you want more money for so i just finished off my event so um <laughs> if you want to create more money what you can do is start creating these services which okay it used to be this whole app boom where people would create apps and they would start you know creating and getting money from that but nowadays it's i guess you know creating services for other people and then you them using these services 
So this could be like potentially like a, a newsletter, which is now what MS Inspire is doing, right? They have this newsletter. It's not like we're making money from it, but like these sorts of things you can then start charging. I'm not saying we're charging, but you can create stuff, anything, and then put a price on it. If you can basically see, if someone sees value in it, then why not? Uh, put stuff there. Um, you can create all these services which people pay for. For example, you've got, you know how Patreon works. Patreon isn't uh, starting about, um, you know, it, Patreon isn't about creating a new social media, but it's creating a platform for people to pay people. And you've created this uh, other platform and a service for people. So all these things, creating an email marketing platform for other people, people, if you can create that for people and they will use it, they, they can pay for it and stuff. Yeah, that's that's I guess. And this is passive Amazing. income because once you've created it once, you never have to really deal with it. You can get people to start maintaining it for you. Amazing. So um, that's a question that was from, I think, Anaga Suna. Um, where are you joining us from? Put it in the chat. Um, one thing I would say is that Yes, those are really cool stuff that you can, you know, earn money. But also, if you keep up your skill level to be very high in demand, that's more coolest way to even earn money as a developer. All right. But as an entrepreneur, yesterday we we had, you know, um, um, that was Anthony Dice teaching how exactly he was able to, you know, um, do most of the fun stuff that he's doing to make money right now whilst he's in school. So you can check out that particular video. But what I would say is that ideas don't come fully formed. Um, and also ideas are not like, I don't know, maybe God, God, God sends us, you know, messages sometimes to do something. But also if you are able to monitor around, look at a very basic thing that people want solution from and then um, build your, you, you know, your solution to fix that particular thing. And that's more greatest way to even make money, right? Because if you look at, most of the fun stuff like Mark Zuckerberg came up with Facebook uh, and most of the great guys who made it, they had a special needs of people around them, right? And they built it for these people and then not knowing the world as a whole needs it. So sometimes when I'm leading community, what I tell people is that, hello, um, yes, I can help you, right? But the point is that if I am about to do something and I'm not cool with it, all right? I feel like the people I'm going to do it for are not going to be cool with it. So you need to make sure that you are grabbing, you are addressing skills that are needed in the industry. Okay, so it's been fun session having a chat with all of you. Um, please post in the link for the attendance um, so that they are able to visit it so quickly. Um, hit on the like mm -hmm. button, hit on the subscribe that would, button. That would, uh, yeah. I just want to... That was, yeah, so uh, just like I see uh, the video is not responding, I guess he has some extreme network issues. So we do uh, we can we do it for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah ju he just read my, but uh, his network is fluctuating, I think. Um, uh, okay. uh, his network I mean, is fluctuating. His network is, his network is really fluctuating. He's coming online, he's replying to my messages, he's going in and out. Okay, so what we can do is that um, tomorrow we have MSP Inspire session, okay? But the MSP Inspire session um, hasn't been announced yet. Luckily, it's one of us who was going to do the session. So, I can do yes, it tomorrow. we can. I do chatbots. I did no. today on chatbots. <laughs> yeah, you can do it some other time. Um, it was Sundarish I was going to do it tomorrow. Ah, okay, but cool. what, what would happen is that um, since it was Sundarish or it's going to be Salman, we would instead give that particular slot to Rogerio so that he would do um, a talk on this same topic that he was about to do. We see a lot of you um, would have liked this particular talk, but he's not around. So tomorrow, instead of the usual time that we started, we can't start that time, all right? MSP Inspire sessions are mostly around um, 4.30, which is 10 p.m. Um, in India, which is quite late, but... Because it will be quite late for India, we would move it one hour um, back um, the time that we, we have. So tomorrow at 3.30 at GMT, uh, we can even make it 3 o'clock p.m. I, I think that would be fun. Um, Salman and Sundarisha, what do you think? Oh, yeah, sounds good. Um, if, yeah. yeah, all these events that will be announced on Meetup, so check those uh, out. Yeah so, um, yeah, so you can check up mspinspired.com. Um, um, meetup.com slash MSP Inspire to make sure that you subscribe. Um, um, we, will create the, we will create that particular event soon. 
Uh, and then already we have most of you um, who are, you know, here. Please let us know in the chat. Would you want this particular talk on getting started with Azure Blockchain by Regirio to come off tomorrow at 3 o'clock p.m. Um, GMT? And that means that at 2.30, uh, sorry, at 8.30 p.m. IST. And that is going to favor our PST people, the Americans. would also get it 8 o'clock a.m. Um, um um, PST. Okay, so we see yes. Um, another yes. Can we get more yes? Um, click on the like button whilst you are saying this. Let us know whether you are with us. Uh, okay, someone, you know, clicked on the dislike well, button, but I see get, we, someone we, clicked on the, yeah. just a minute, someone yeah, clicked on the dislike yeah. button, but the person gave us a like, like instead, so he removed this like. Thank you so much for removing your like. We hope you, are, you, you, you removed it because of, you know, the fun stuff that we are discussing here. Yeah, yes, if you want to watch something now, Double. go ahead and watch my new video. Okay, it's mm -hmm. on how to get your first impressions and talk to recruiters. Okay, check yeah. it out here. I've I've done three three weeks this month. I've already done it. Um, so let me it every just week. Check it here. To, uh, <laughs> Salma and Casey. Uh, pardon? Oh, so, you 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 took off my screen share. Oh yeah, I was showing the meetup. I was showing the meetup, and now I'm showing uh, the. Uh, the, okay, uh, no problem. Now. No. Um, so yeah, if you do want to learn more about how to get an internship at Microsoft, go ahead and learn here. I did my last video today. Um, it, it's, it's nothing you'll hear in normal technical videos. I talk about dating. It's weird. Okay, it's, it's the psychology behind it. It all makes sense. So check that out. Give a subscribe. And do check out tomorrow for our event with Rodrigo. Hopefully, he'll be here. Uh, and thank you for tuning yeah. in. All right, so um, before, I think we have like about 10 minutes to go. Um, if you have any question, please put it in the chat. I want to make sure that we are no, giving you all that, that you want. Yes, please. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, can we do can, can we uh, do it at 6 p.m. IST tomorrow? Because I have, I, I'll send you guys, like everyone who is right now watching us, uh, who have registered hmm. for the event. Yes, we, we could have done email. it. You'll get a I mean, reminder email. Yeah, we've already compromised one thing for, for tomorrow's session. We are going to do a talk, but because we just want to make sure people are getting the most out of it, we've already compromised one thing. But the thing is that we have a, a consistent okay. timeline that we always give. We are very consistent with MSP Inspire sessions. It is mostly 4.30, okay. but because we want the audience in the chat to be able to benefit, we'll move it one hour, one hour 30 minutes early. So I think we've compromised enough for this. The point is that we can do it as early as possible, but those few people that have been consistent watching some of our stream will not be able to make time as at then because they know our usual time is the time that we showed all of you. All right, so that is the only problem that we have. Else we could have moved it to okay. an earlier session. Um, but please put it in the chat. Um, would you be able to join at 3.30, uh, at 3 o'clock PM GMT? And then um, let us know, let us know. And then the, our IST folks, 8.30 for programmers and people who are very passionate about programming. I'm sure your mom is not going to tell you to sleep by then, right? So um, put it in the chat if you'll be able to join. If not, we don't even have to shift our session. We can do our usual session that we are, we are doing, all right? So please hit on the like button, hit on the subscribe button on MSP Inspire. And let me know what of the dates um, you would like me to give some of this or some advice. Uh, I think mostly it, if you want to learn UI, I, I have wide range of um, knowledge in most technologies that I don't talk about sometimes. But if you want to learn graphics, if you want to learn UI design, I can give you cool tips. If you want to know what exactly happens at the employee, uh, I mean, our companies that we work, um, under paid jobs and all this stuff, I can I can answer that. If you want to learn about leadership, how you can you know build one of the next big thing, um, I can answer that. So just let me know what exactly do you want me to do. Um, I, I promise I can um, get you upskill so quickly in your in your journey. Um, do you have more question um, for for us? Tomorrow's session would be um, you know 8:30 p.m. Um, IST and yeah, okay. Many people said it's fine. Um, so um, um, Karen, Ajinkia, I think you don't need to worry about about it then. 
Uh, we will make sure we change the yeah, title sure, of this yeah, sure. particular episode uh, to maybe problem, advise like, you. I just wanted to ask the audience who are, yeah, so that's great. Yeah. Uh, it it yeah. won't be a problem for us. I was just uh, like telling that we had uh, four days of 6 p.m. IST Sunday, so I was thinking of doing it all at the same time. But if the people who are watching us, they don't have any problems, so it won't be much of an issue for us. Awesome. Yeah, so um, that is pretty much it from um, yeah. our organizer. And this is um, Salman M. Casey just showed his channel as well. Uh, and he shows how you can get an internship at Microsoft. So if you want to learn some things like that and then possibly some future episodes that you'll be doing, you can check them up over there. All right. I think Sundarisho's channel is also um, very live and he's doing some fun stuff over there. Sundarisho. Um, let me click on it, see where I can find my guy. And yeah, I think it's here. Thing, one more thing, everyone. I sure. really want to, I really want to apologize for today's uh, session. Uh, it was really like something un unnatural for us to like, we were expecting that Rogerio will connect with us, but it's raining there in Brazil, so he couldn't be here with us. So, but some issues, some network issues, he couldn't be here. So uh, do join tomorrow as well, and we assure you that he'll be uh, he'll be joining in tomorrow and uh, delivering the session on Azure blockchain. So do do come up tomorrow as well with the same motivation. So uh, he'll come up tomorrow for sure. Amazing. So um, thank you so much for joining today's session. Hit on the like button if you like the discussions that we had. Trust me, sometimes advisory is needed most than even the practical sessions that we go through or the technical session that we go through. Because if you have, if someone is able to tell you that, hey, this is the path to heaven, or someone is able to tell you that, hey, this is the path to success, I think you will be able to figure out what exactly you need to do to be able to be successful, right? But sometimes that particular advice is not available. We're just going to put in the chat for you to subscribe to Sundarisho's channel. He does some cool stuff as well. And um, Sunda showed one of the cool stuff he was able to build. Please, if you're able to build something, my name is Dawood Idris. You will always be able to, you know, catch up with me on anywhere. It's just Dawood Idris. Even in my on my website, it's Dawood Idris. The same D-A-W-O-O-D-I-D-D-R-I-S. If you need me anywhere, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, GitHub, anywhere at all you need me, just um, um, the same thing. Hit on the like button, hit on the subscribe button. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, okay, I'm going to reserve a date, Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, uh, it's Tuesday. Yeah, I think every Tuesday I can do advisory for all of you um, to benefit a lot from. Um, so um, I hope you've had amazing journey from day one of whatever we were able to do. Tomorrow, bear in mind that the time is actually just... Um, 8.30 p.m. IST. It will be one hour session. So that means by 9.30, we will close so that you can sleep. And also, if you're in GMT, GMT 00 would be, you know, 12.30, um, which means that if you are somewhere in South Africa, which might be just two hours plus or three hours plus, right? So um, we will make sure we communicate that to you. And if you are joining from anywhere at all, GMT is a standard time. You should be able to convert it to your own time zone. And also, I think one thing we can do is that we can go back to here. Um, and on our Lead Tech Global website, check it up. I'll make sure I convert all the time zones so that you don't get confused when to join. We are just joining um, mostly, let me just mention that it's three hours plus the, the time that we, we joined today's session, okay? Um, so today's session is two hours, 30 minutes, it's 2.30. Um, so it will be three, plus two hours, 30 minutes. So plus two hours, 30 minutes from the usual time of the DTEC Global. Just add two hours, 30 minutes to wherever you are. And then that is, you know, um, the time that we will start the next session tomorrow. We will schedule it. And then, um, please, can we just schedule it and give them a link to it so fast? Okay, most of you are on the WhatsApp platform, so you should be able to get it. Right. Remember, yes, my name is Dawood. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just generate we'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, we'll a link and uh, in the event, event reminder remains will include it so people can join. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's absolutely true. We can do more of that. 
So um, we hope you've been able to enjoy most from all of all the things that we spoke about. And you guys are so amazing. About 100 of you subscribed to MSP Inspire channel this week, which is really, really cool. We really appreciate, you know, um, you wanting to grow your tech skills and then choosing us all the way with you. So we are we are so much thankful that you have dedicated, you know, your time to to learn and upskill yourself. We want to see you succeed. Um, we want to see you being successful in your career. We want to see you being at the top level. Hit on the like button. Hit on the subscribe button. This particular episode will change the title and also the cover so that it appears, you know, something that is of more of what we talked about. Tech advisory should be the, um, should be the, uh, I think, the title. All over one hour, we've been talking about it. So um, let me get some last words from the co-organizing team and then Sundar Reshua and then Salman. Then we end the stream. Yeah, um, yeah Dawood. Uh, so Dawood was very much like uh, giving advisors and it was really great to hear on to Dawood's advisors. So uh, it doesn't really bore me to like uh, hear to Dawood's advisors. It's always great and it always inspires us to do more and uh, that was more of a interactive session but we still like for, for we have 49 people watching us right now and they interacted with us they told us about how the session was and these four days have been the best days for me to be honest like we had a lot of people joining in and uh, talking about the participation and everything all all of them like the motivation you guys show towards us, towards uh, Lee Lone Tech Global, towards MSP Inspire, joining in each and every day for four days. It was really great. And uh, we are so happy to have you. And it was a really great, uh, what you can say, experience for us as well, because it was my first live stream event, to be honest. I like collaborated with MSP Inspire for the first time, and it was an awesome experience for me. And uh, Dawood, Salman, Sundar, you all have been so much helpful uh, from your side and uh, that's that's really great and uh, let me le just pass on to Ajinkya. Ajinkya, do you want to say something? Ajinkya? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, as Omkar said, uh, it was a really, really lovely session. We all, uh, I, I personally had uh, in these four days, I personally enjoyed all the sessions. I learned a lot of new things and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well i seriously thank you all for sticking with us till the end and being such a lovely audience thank you uh, i conclude from my side that's great thank you Ajinkya. and uh, just one more thing like uh, like it to, uh, like if you learn something from this session we'll also generate a feedback form and uh, uh, with the certificates, we'll also give you a feedback form. So please fill in the feedback form and tell us how the sessions were. Where is, were, were it? Uh, it was interactive. It was informative. Uh, like your your thoughts. Uh, it's completely based on your feedback, so that we can come up with more such sessions, so that you can learn more, you can upskill yourself, and you can like uh, like progress in your respective journey. So. Uh, our main priority is to make you learn something new, make you upskill in this hard times and like uh, give you that approach towards life, towards your career so that you can achieve more in life. So uh, let me just pass on to Sundar or Dawood or Salman, just some last words so that we can conclude today's session. Like it was tech advisory session by Dawood and uh, just some last words and then we'll play the trailer. Well, um, that was a good session. I think uh, that would had some introductions so like, Okay, so Sal, any last words from you? Instead of that would be. Like, uh, I mean, because I was in an, I was just running another event. Um, I I didn't really wasn't able to really uh, comment on the session. But I'm sure it was great. Um, yeah, I mean, like just keep keep learning, and we're all here to help. Again, if you do want to have more you know advice from any of us just check out our uh, youtube videos already on the ms inspire channel or check out our individual channels as well where we like to be a bit 
different, I guess. As in, I like to show my personality a bit more there. Um, so if you do want to hear us talk longer, <laughs> uh, as opposed to just introductions and outros, then do check out those. Um, yeah, and like, yeah, that, that's what that's what I do. I, I do all this internship advice. So please, I only need 10 of you to subscribe and then I'll be at 600 subscribers. So please <laughs> use the link yeah, so and subscribe. One more thing, one more thing I want to say. Uh, like if you checked out yesterday's session about Anthony, uh, he's also an entrepreneur and I'm also an entrepreneur. So if you want some tips on how one can become an entrepreneur, if you are aspiring to become an entrepreneur, so you can check out uh, my, I've made an IGTV video weeks ago. It's on my Instagram handle and uh, it's com it's a six minute video and it's completely helpful. It will help you. I've covered the most 10, like most uh, st like uh, 10 steps which the entrepreneurs follow in order to like ace their entrepreneurial journey. So I'll just give my link uh, Insta ID or uh, the Insta uh, on the Insta ID on the this thing chat and you can check it out whenever you get time just watch the video and just uh, comment your favorite part what is it like and just you can also connect with me on Instagram uh, LinkedIn and ask me about like how uh, if you have any doubts regarding the if, if you want to become an entrepreneur and you are stuck somewhere so you can like message me you can see your feel free to ask me about it so uh, don't worry, we all are here to help you. We are all are here to assist you in your journey. So uh, feel free to reach out to us. We are happy to help. Okay. So uh, so in the end, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's session with Rodriguez. And don't forget to tune in for at 8.30 p.m. IST. So yeah, if you want to see Cinder, if you want to see Cinder in the thumbnail of a lot of videos, <laughs> check out <laughs> my channel as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, so let's end this stream okay so thanks for tuning in and you. sorry see for today's uh, thank you all. see you see you tomorrow bye bye when the sky